What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a PSA return. If you guys saw the last video, we were very disappointed. We got four eights. There's a lot of comments. There's a lot of people saying those should have been eights. There are a lot of people saying you got screwed. We've seen it both ways. Today I have 23 cards from that $10,000 collection I bought. Go check that video out. It was crazy. I didn't send in everything from there because now that the Express is the lowest service, it's $200. It's just too much to send everything. So I sent all the very best stuff that I had left out of the collection and this is it. So I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous about getting eights, about getting sixes, about having stuff in the cases. I just hope that there's not gonna be the junk in the slabs. I hope that we get some tins. I haven't gotten a tin in literally like half a year because one, I haven't sent too many cards and two, the ones I have sent have gotten nines or eights. So hopefully today changes that. Okay, we have a three card giveaway. We'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite card that we graded in this opening. There is a lot of different ones. So I think you'll have a lot of good choices. Also, if you did not see the video yesterday of every 2004 10 opening, go check it out. Now let's get into this. I'm really excited to see these cards. All right, let's get into this box. It's a little bit too big for you guys to see, but I'm gonna be cutting this thing open. Okay, we have two of the smaller boxes. One's gonna have like three cards in it and one's probably gonna have 20 unless they, you know, even them out. But usually they just go 20 and then the overflow. So let's just figure out what's in here. They both feel the same weight. So maybe they are spread out. We're about to find out. Okay. Oh, one didn't get graded. Oh no. One didn't get graded. Is that real? Wait. Is that what that means? Oh, never mind. Okay, that was a little scary. That was a little scary. Okay, it's just a card saver. Why is that in here? That's interesting. Okay, so this is, okay, it's the back. This is some cards. This is interesting because normally it's 20 per box. So I guess there's not 20 in this box or in the other box either. So, okay, let's just start with this one. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know how many are here, but we're just gonna go with it. We're not gonna inspect them as closely as the ones where we only have a couple because you know we have 23. It's gonna be all day if we look at them for that long. So for these cards, um, we're, these were very minty. A lot. These mostly had 10 chances. So we're we're hoping for nines and tens. Last time I was hoping for nines, and some people thought I was hoping for tens. We were just hoping for nines. This time I am hoping for tens on a lot of them. So uh, the back does have some junk on it. Let's not spoil it like this. Let's see. Let's cover this part up. Ooh, the Bee Skull Dragon. We are starting off hot. It's a little faded, so let's see how they graded the faded. Occasionally with the faded, they don't like to uh, really give them good grades. But we're about to find out if they did or not, but this guy was really nice. Let's check him out. I mean, this guy was super minty. I don't remember if we checked it out in the collection or not, but you guys can check that video out. It was insane. Let's see what it got. Good start. This is a good start. This is what? Is this the fourth B skull I've graded? B skull and I, we have a connection. B skull and I, we got something. Uh, we got something between us. Um, I, I don't know if I can tell you guys about this, but four tenths. That's pretty awesome. A slightly faded one to go with my regular one. Whoa, that is a awesome, awesome start to this. Wow, that's a great looking card. Oh my goodness. That's a fantastic start. I'm art. I, I can tell I'm going to be a little more happy about this one than last time, guys. Just even this card is just huge. That's great. Whoo. Okay. That's a, that's a good start. That's a great start. All right. Back's looking pretty good on this guy too. Um, and by the way, a lot of people saw this on the, on one of the other videos. This is just the sleeve back there. It's not the actual card. So those aren't dimples in the card. Those are actually just dimples in the sleeve back there. So uh, it's not actual damage or anything. So the back looks really nice. That's what makes it kind of hard to look through the cases to tell exactly, you know, what it is, what's going on. So really you have to kind of go with memory and occasionally memory can fail you and you can think it was nicer than it was or whatever. This guy looks pretty nice too. Let's see. We've got a change of heart, slightly faded from Metal Raider. So the last one did okay. Let's see if this one did as well. Ooh, a mint nine. Okay, I see that corner. Oh my goodness, look at that corner. It's like it got cut a little jagged there. I bet that's what it was. And let's check out the centering is a little off. It's a little off. PSA 9. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. You guys see the centering? It's not great. There is that jagged cut to it. Yeah, so I think 9 is actually pretty good for this. Um, the back looks really good. It was a really clean one. Um, but I understand why this one got a 9. 
Okay, 19110. If we end up 50%, I'm going to be super happy. All right, the problem is covering these up. Oh, Mirror Force, guys. Woo, a faded Mirror Force. Let's see if it has that same cutting issue up there. Mm, it's a little bit of whitening, but not too much. Centering. Okay, I'm going to go with 9 on this. Look at the centering. It's not bad. It's not horrible, but it's a little off. So I'm going to go with 9. Oh, it did get the 10. Oh, see, the centering is a little, it's a teensy bit off, but, okay, the 60-40 rule, it it comes into effect here, and I, they usually are, are even more strict on it, or at least recently, not usually. They've been strict on that centering, and so I was expecting them to knock it down, but the 60-40 rule here, it's, it's pretty close. It's about borderline on that, so I, that was really the main issue. You can see a little bit, if you guys see that, there's a little speck of white up there. But overall, this was a very, very clean. Like the surfaces on these guys, I'm you can't really see them that well. We're great. Like we're talking really beautiful surfaces. So I see why uh, this got a 10 because the surface was great. Centering's borderline, but the surface was really good. And then there's maybe a little bit of whitening on the edges, but I'm taking it because this is a card I do not have in PSA 10 that I've always wanted. So this one's going to the collection. Some of these will be for sale because I did have to pay like nearly 5K to grade these. Because I got a couple upcharges. I don't know what they were. Might have been those two, to be honest. Um, but I didn't look because I wanted to save the surprise and the reaction for this video. But yeah, it was really expensive. So some of them will be for sale. Probably not the Mirror Force. Maybe the Beast Skull. I don't know. I kind of kind of want to keep that and have a faded and a regular. That'd be pretty cool. Next up, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Okay. This guy... I don't remember much about this one. I feel like one was nicer than the other. They were both pretty good. Okay, there's a big, long... Is that a scratch? What happened there? Okay, that's on the case, which is okay. I mean, as long as it's on the case, I'm not mad. You know, if it's not on the real card, um, it's unfortunate that it's like that. Really pretty card. Centering is... Overall, fairly good. It's fairly good. It's about like the Mirror Force, maybe a little better. And then... Oh, what the heck is this? We got some stuff on it. All right. All right, we got it. Well, no, maybe it's just my fingers. I think my fingers are getting crap on there. Okay. Yeah, there's an, there's the sleeve at the top. That part at the top is the sleeve. Um, For some reason, I just don't feel like this got a 10. Okay, well, look at that. There's a... It's This is like... It's the whitening. It's very light. It's like factory whitening. So it's pretty, pretty mild. I'm going to go with a 9 on this. Um, it does look pretty good, though. Oh, a six. Okay. Okay, I must have missed something. Wait, maybe there is a... Maybe this is something. No, that... I think that's the sleeve. Okay. I don't know what this is. Maybe it has a bend in it? That's what a six would normally mean. To me, there's like a dent or a bend. Um, I can't tell. That looks like it's on the sleeve. Uh, I'm pretty confused by this one, to be honest. I don't know about this... I don't know. I really don't know about this one, but we've done it. Wait, is it bent up there? I don't know. I can't tell. If you guys see anything, um, it could be this, but I'm pretty sure that that's the sleeve. Uh, if you see anything, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm not mad. I mean, we've got two tens so far, so I can't really complain about a six, to be honest. That's only four cards in. This might be a long video, guys. I can't help it. These are such nice cards. Next up. Okay. Another blue eyes. This one's actually faded, which is really cool. So hopefully it gets better than a six, to be honest. Um... The centering on this one is definitely a little bit off. So I'm going to go with nine so far. Okay, there is stuff on there. That's not my, for my fingers. Okay. I'm sure there'll be a lot of like glove comments or something, you know, even though they're not even raw. But um, I'm going to go with, let's see if we can get a nine on this one. Nine. Pretty good. Faded blue eyes. MRL first edition. I'm happy with that. A PSA 9. Guys, the fame, the infamous 8, we haven't hit one yet. I'm sure we will. Knock on wood. Hopefully not, but I figure we will. We got a 6, we got two 9s, two 10s. So pretty good so far. I'm happy with it. Relinquish first edition for Magic Ruler. This is actually not too expensive of a card, surprisingly. I think it's like 80 bucks in your mint. Like, incredibly low. Probably because Star Deck Pegasus has the same art, but honestly, if you can get a near mint one of these for 80 bucks, like, that's a great deal, to be honest. Front looks pretty good on this guy. Back centering's a little off, maybe. Okay, let's check it out. Hope you guys are enjoying this long PSA return. We haven't had one of these in months, so it's pretty exciting. Also, with how nice these cards are. Honestly, for this one, 
Might go 10. Yeah. Yeah, this is a card I need to add in my collection as well. Yes, this is awesome. I've wanted one of these for a couple of years now, so this is perfect. Yes, the collection. I haven't added my PSA collection, like, actual 10s in a while, so this is great. But this and Mirror Force are two that I've always wanted and I never bought. And I could have bought them both for like 300 bucks each, and I just didn't, and I missed out big time. Oh, and you guys see this? I'm sure you noticed. The beginning of the God cards. We have 13 God cards in this submission. I'm hoping, please guys, just throw up a prayer for me. Like button in for luck. Like button for luck. I just want one of each to get a 10. That's all I want. That's all I want from the God cards. If it's more, I'm gonna be very happy. But hopefully we can get at least one of each as a 10. These are the secret rare. So for the GBI God cards, there was a secret and an ultra. Kind of like how in King's Court, there's a secret and an ultra Pharaoh's rare. Except for these were from uh, a Game Boy game. So there was the secret rare, which is the more expensive version, and then the ultra. So the secret rare does have the prismatic in the back it's very hard to see with obelisk he kind of blocks off the entire uh, artwork and then the name so really pretty card i'm not going to take too long in these because we have a ton of them yes this is awesome oh my goodness guys okay so this is an awesome this is an awesome return so far i'm really happy with it i'm really really happy with it i need obelisk now i need cypher and raw so let's see if we can get thousand eyes restrict oh my goodness this is a big one this would be huge. Okay, let's check out the centering on it. Centering is... It, it, it is a little bit shifted toward the left. Top to bottom looks pretty nice, so it's pretty close. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the surface. That I remember, at least. Okay, so yeah, it's that same thing up there, so I don't think that was a dent on the blue eyes. I think there's something else. Probably, I'm guessing a bend. I'm guessing it was a bend. Okay, back looks good. This is going to be borderline 9, 10, depending on what they think of the centering. Oh, an eight. Okay. There's the, there's the infamous eight. All right. I wonder what it was. Okay. Centering is a tiny bit off. That's interesting. I wonder what it was. Let's check this card. Edge looks good. Edge looks good. Is there like, I don't know. I don't know about this one, to be honest. I just said, I, I kind of got all the grades. I don't really get this one. Maybe it's because of the cutting or something. Maybe it's because of the corners that, the way the corners were cut. I'm not sure. Man, maybe we're missing something. Or maybe there is a scratch on the surface because it's possible. I can't really see the surfaces too well. I don't know. First eight, we're not going to complain yet. I mean, we're, we have four tens. There's not much to complain. Four out of eight, I can't complain. So we'll, we'll figure it out probably at some point. Maybe I'll be able to check it off camera because sometimes looking through the video, it is a little bit harder to see. Oh, oh, faded Jinzo, first edition. Wow, centering is actually awesome on that guy. Wow, the centering is great. Wow, that's really good actually. Oh, dare I, dare I hope for a 10? No, this actually got it. Oh my goodness! Oh no! That is crazy. Not because I don't think it deserves the tin, but I mean, faded. Usually they're tough on the faded. The centering is actually really good for Pharaoh's servant. Oh no! Way no way. This is insane. This. So this might be my best return of all time at this rate. This is crazy. We're only nine cards in. We got 14 left. 12 of them are God cards, but we still have 14 left. Wow, that's a big card. That is a big, big card. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. This is gonna be a long video just for me being like, wow. Okay, on to the next card. Two more cards, guys, on this one. Oh, I forgot this was in here. Imperial Order. Okay, centering is good. Pretty, yeah, good. Actually, really good. Um, is that a, okay, that's on the thing. Oh, it's a hair or something. Got that. I mean, honestly, I, I could see this guy getting a 10 as well. I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing much. Let's hope for a 10. A nine. Okay. I, I could have missed something. I think it might be these corners that are, they're taking off a little bit for. Maybe they are. I don't know. Cause they, sometimes they come out of the pack like that with a little bit of an edge. 
Um, it's Imperial Order. I don't really care that much about Imperial Order, to be honest. It would have been a great 10. I would have saved it, probably. But, uh... There's... Pr I mean, it might be the corners. It might be the way those are cut. I don't know. I don't know. Nice card. I'm not mad about that. It's just Imperial Order. Next card. the la I think this is the last non-GBI God card. And then we're hoping for the full set. That's what we're hoping for. Dark Paladin... Pretty good. He's a little tilted. MFC tilt right there. You guys know what I mean by tilted. So the card artwork sits there on the blo the gray borders. That's what the centering is. We're talking about how it sits in there, like the entire purple part. It's turned like this. So there, it's a little bit wider on the right side of the top, like right here, than it is on the left. So that's what the tilt is. I think that's probably going to get it a nine. Um, it just depends. Some people are really strict on the tilt and some aren't. Uh, let's. I'm going to go with nine. Nine would be good. Nine. Okay, pretty good. I have this as a 10 already, so um, probably won't end up keeping this one, but maybe I will. Who knows? Pretty cool card. I mean, it's a it's a first edition Magician's Fourth Dark Paladin. That's really awesome. Let's get into the second box. I am extremely happy with this. Five awesome tens so far. All right, second half of the submission. I think it's all God cards now. Because it's kind of a longer video, maybe we'll go a little faster on these. Okay, Obelisk, we've already gotten a 10. I think some of these, like three, when I, okay. I submitted, I think, five of two of the God cards and three of one. I think it was three Slifers. So the ones with five, like three of them were like, I thought 10 candidates, like they should be 10s. And then two were a little bit worse, like maybe nines and maybe even an eight. So we're going to see kind of how that, I guess what my memory is. So I can't remember it completely, but we're not going to go too crazy on these. Mid nine. Okay. We've already gotten the 10. So let's just kind of flip these over and see what they get. And we'll inspect them if we get like a five or something. Back centering is not great on that guy. Another nine. Okay. I'm not too worked up about the obelisk because we do already have the 10. Yeah, so I have five of these. Centering looks similar on that guy. Ooh, another 10. Obelisk the Tormentor. That is awesome. Okay, front centering is pretty good. Let's check it out. See if it's a nice 10. It's nice to have the six, 60 million certs because they've gotten so much. I mean, they've gotten tougher, let's be honest. So, um, Or at least a lot of people don't agree with me on that. I think they've gotten a little tougher. but So it's nice to have those 60 million certs because... You know, they're strong 10s. Oh, that's wrong stack. All right, 10. So 10 and 9 are neck and neck. We've got an 8 and a 6 just hanging out over there. All right, last one of the obelisk. This is way OC on the back. I'm going with 9. Yep, 9. I think, yeah, OC on the front as well. So makes sense. Okay, 3 9s and 2 10s from the obelisk. I can't complain about that. Here we have a slifer. Let's check this guy out. Centering looks okay on the back. Looks okay on the back. We're not going to check out the front. We're just going to flip it over. Yes, two of three completed, guys. Centering's pretty good on the front here as well. Oh my, check. Oh my goodness. Are we going to have the entire set? Might be the thumbnail if we do. We'll, I mean, not with tens, but not showing them. Not spoiling it. Don't worry, I'm not spoiling it, but showing the cards. All right, now we're just hoping for more. Uh, one more slifer. That'd be great. A mint nine. Okay. We might have a nine set for sale after this. And the final one. It'd be great to get two out of three tens. Two out of three tens, we might get two sets. Okay, we just need one raw for one set. Let's not get greedy. And then if we get a second one, it'd be fantastic. So, wow. I I can't complain about this submission. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm sure some people are going to say they watch my video and they're like, we got to give Rook some better grades. I doubt it, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a small fish. Small fish. So, uh, I think that they're, they're just grading the way they are and... I think they've just been rough on centering. That's what it seems like. Because you guys have seen the nines here. I've been off center. So I think centering is just... Maybe they stepped up the centering. And now it's... Well, there was... One of our tens was borderline. So maybe not. Maybe... I, okay, maybe not. I'm trying to figure it out. But we all know it is subjective. And sometimes it's more frustrating when the subjectiveness goes more rough than we're expecting. And it's great when it's, you know, subjective and it goes our way. So today it's going our way for the most point. For the most part. So we can't complain. Um, Wing Dragon Raw full set we officially did it this is amazing i'm so happy right now full set of gbi god cards psa 10 i've never actually owned these these used to be 250 each like 250 dollars per slab now they're a lot more than that so it's really nice that we got a stinking set of them that's so awesome so now the rest of the video we're just hoping for gravy we've already got the set we could possibly get two 10 sets so i'm gonna be hyped if we do that Oh, uh, this is not a 10. This is not a 10. Way OC. Back centering. 
<laughs> back centering. Oh, okay, that one's pretty lucky. That one's lucky. That back center. Okay, the front centering is better than that other one. So the front looks good on this guy. This back centering is a bit off. So yeah, I think we got a little bit lucky there uh, on the back centering. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. Well, I was. I'm a little shocked by that, but uh, may, there must be. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So th this top to bottom centering is off as well, but we saw it was off last time. Another 10. Okay, so the back centering is not playing much of a factor right here. That's what we're telling here. Oh, that front centering is nice, though. That front centering looks good on this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Wait, is that three raws in a row? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm hyped. Best back centering yet. We'll see if this matters. Four of four! Oh my goodness! Let's go! There's so many tens! This is insane. This is awesome. I think some of those raws got a little lucky with the back centering. We're taking it. Um, Good back centering. Five for five. That's unreal. Those GBI God cards, I'm telling you guys, they were minty. They were really good. But, uh, wow. That's a submission you can't complain about, even if it costs $5,000. That's really good. That is really good, like tons of cards that I wanted to add to my collection. That is absolutely awesome. Feel free to ask about any cards because I do need to make up like five grand for what I paid for these. Um, probably not Mirror Forest, probably not one of the sets of GBI God cards. And then uh, what was the other one? Uh, Relinquished. Those for sure. Jinzo might keep that because it's faded. It's really cool. Other stuff, feel free to ask about it if you guys want to buy it um, because I will be selling some of it. Unbelievable submission. I'm so happy with it. Um, a complete turnaround from last time. Last time I was very upset, uh, disappointed, um, frustrated, all that stuff. That's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you have a great submission, sometimes you don't. And uh, yeah, sometimes we get mad, sometimes we don't. So today we're not getting mad uh, at all. So this was great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be a fun video, I think. It should be pretty fun. If you didn't see the 10 video, go check it out yesterday. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Wow, this was crazy. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!